I ordered the vision console this week. You can uh, go ahead and open it. You'll, I think you'll okay. Now we're going to hear the sound of opening paper. No one opens a present like I do. Okay, let's open it quickly. Actually, I should open the card first, right? Really? That's great. That's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you a lot. Okay. Hi, Diane. Here we are, live eye at the Lions Community Center at Mr. Tim McFall's going away party. And I have in my presence Mr. Youth. Now, Mr. McFall, as we all say, what's your most memorable experience of the Lions Community Center? Well, I think actually, Mark, uh, working with you was the most memorable experience I ever had. Uh, I don't think I'll ever forget it. I think it was, it was the shortest experience, was it three months? <laughs> yes, it wasn't, it wasn't very long, but it certainly was memorable. Well, we started a friendship that's lasted for years, and we ended up having a little competition climbing mountains together, and, uh, and your mountain was? My mountain was uh, Ir uh, Iroquois with my 46. Yes, and, and my mountain was Esther. And yes. we could wave to each other about uh, 46 miles apart. Well, I, I tried diligently to wave to you, but uh, the Labab 50 was in the way. Now, now, through the years, there must be a few stories that you'd like to share with us that, that, that stick out in your mind that, that we'd like to uh, preserve forever here. Hi, how you doing? Ah, uh, yes. Or you can tell us about your new job. Uh, yeah, I have a, I ha I have a, a sneaker contract with the Postal Union. And the neatest thing about them is they make you jump real high. And, they be and it's because they, they have a little eagle on them, and, and their motto is come fly with us. Now, have you also gone through your six weeks of basic training for the post office to... Well, I, I, had, a, I had a fantastic... ...about me, John McKay, and... Uh, he, he filled me in on all the duties of being a postal clerk. And now they, they've sent me for retraining in two, two weeks in Rochester because John didn't teach me as well as he thought he did. In all seriousness, uh, there must be, uh, how many championships did you win here while you're at the community center with your uh, uh, basketball teams? Well, they're too numerous to uh, remember, but uh, the one, the one coach that I did have that uh, probably did the best job here was Leroy Greer. And you know, it's amazing that I, he's in presence, he's, he's with us tonight. And uh, uh, Leroy, why don't you come and join us here? And now we have a, a threesome of the uh, outlaws here. These are the true outlaws. <laughs> now, Mr. Leroy, what would you like to say to uh, Mr. McFall here on his great night? Well, I'd like to wish him a lot of luck and success and happiness in his future. And I also like to talk about that long-term movie contract that he has going with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, he has a new line that Arnold has said and made famous, and it means, I'll be... Oh, I, th I thought you meant, no tumor, no tumor. <laughs> he was no. thinking of Clint Eastwood, he was gonna say, make my day. <laughs> no, I'll be, I'll be back. And that's it in a nutshell. Okay, this is Live Eye at the Lions Community Center. We'll see. <laughs> Got my eye. Okay. I thought I was sneaking. I thought I was sneaking something. Here we go. Live eye at the Lions Community Center. It's Marty Cracker with uh, uh, Mr. Youth, Mr. Tim McFall. Now. Hi, Mark. Hi. I I I have these great memories and uh, of a, of a man once, Afro man, Afro Sheen man. <laughs> Now, could you tell us about those days at the community center? Most people remember you when they look at these photos. They're bringing back those Apple Sheen days. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Well, you know, the, the thing is, is that uh, all superheroes have to have a secret identity. And if I revealed at this point in my life what my secret identity was, everybody would know it. Ah, well, God, I'm old enough now. I might as well tell you. I was the greatest American hero. I really was the greatest American hero. In fact, my daughter, who just two years old, every time we used to go hiking and I would leave out the door, she says, 
Teddy's going the All American Hero again. <laughs> I definitely was the greatest American hero. And that's my identity. I'm now I'm Tim McFall, my mild manner postman. Yes. Now now now's the time that you can that you've had a chance to reflect and you might have a story for us to share with us over the years that there's a story that sticks out in your mind. I think um <laughs> I don't. I don't really. I don't have too many stories that really stick out in my mind. Um, I think that the the one thing that uh, I've enjoyed the most is uh, seeing the center grow. It really has. Now, the last time I was in here, this is a wood floor, and now it's it's done over really well. And, we we, all and we've added a uh, tremendous amount of programs. Uh, when I first came here, we only had uh, the summer program, and that's it. Now we have everything. The amazing thing is that uh, Spook House is now virtual reality, and that's <laughs> we've come a long way now. But you, now that, that's something that's very special in everybody's mind. Every it's biannually, the, the Spook House. Could you tell us a, about a couple of your favorite Spook Houses and some of the kids' reactions? Well, I, I think that uh, one way we gauge success of the haunted house is uh, how long it takes your child to regain their natural sleeping pattern, and usually it's three days. So if, if it's three days, then we've done our job. And if it's one day, then we're going to have to work a lot harder the next time to scare the hell out of them. Now, I've been to Jurassic Park, and I really think that the Lions Community Center Spook House was much more scarier for the younger kids than Jurassic Park is. I, I think that uh, one incident, or a couple I, that I remember, is one woman taking her children through the haunted house, and, and she uh, was crying so hard when she came out of there that she beat on my chest for about 15 minutes uh, and s swore at me and called me every kind of name in the book and she said that it was unfit for human consumption and I said you didn't have to eat it you just had to enjoy it we must be talking about that uh, witch's brew did she stick her hands in there it was uh, it was your brother-in-law Bob Webeck he, he scared the living hell out of her when he uh, flashed a, and went into uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde that man uh, Mr. Uh J Jekyll will be here pretty soon. He, I understand he's coming over tonight. So another one of your assistants said he lasted about three years, I believe. Well, that was one of my greatest joys is that I had you as my assistant, and not only did uh, did I have you, but I also had Bob Webeck, who you recommended, and then Bob Webeck married your sister Beth, and it turned into your brother-in-law. So it kind of is a family within a family. It's like a full circle. I, I okay. thought that was wonderful. Yes. I've always been very proud of that. And then you guys went on to work at Newark Developmental Center as a recreation therapist. That was always a pride uh, in my, because I felt that I had a little bit of part of that, of yes. your success story. No matter how long you spend at a place like this, you always remember the times. You know, the other the thing that I remember well is, uh, is that you, uh, you got me started in cross-country skiing, which I went on and bought 30 pairs of cross-country skis for the center, and now we have cross-country skiing. And that was your, your, your idea. Now, now the last time Mr. McFall went cross-country skiing was in 1978, so we got plans in 1994 to actually go skiing here. Well, it took me that long to recover from that mountain you took me on, Mark. I almost got killed. So it, You didn't tell me that I had to be an expert to come down those slopes. Well, we'll, uh, we'll go over some lessons this year. Uh, this is a live eye at the Lions Community Center. We'll see the Lions Community Center. It's Marty Cracker live at the Lions Community Center at Tim McFall's uh, Going Away Party. He's also known as Mr. Youth. And with us today, we have Steve Oda, assistant director for eight years. Steve, you've known Tim for quite a few years now. Do you have a great story you'd like to share with us about Mr. McFall, as, he's, as we all know him as? So I've got so many that I just I can't pick one. Which one sticks out in your mind? I really don't. I can't. I can't you're, you're putting me on the spot here, Mark. I really don't know. Okay, how about, Steve, do you have a story you'd like to share with us over the years? Uh, spook house or any of that kind of stuff that, that you remember well? Uh, no, no, I don't. I, I really don't have nothing to Is there out. anything you'd like to say to Mr. McFall? Um, I hope he, uh, I hope he, and, Enjoys the rest of his life. Um, I don't get this. <laughs> and keeps in touch. <laughs> sure, and keeps in touch, right? Okay. Well, thank you. <laughs> well, we'll find out. Okay. Hello, this is uh, Mark DeCracker live at the Lions Community Center at uh, Mr. Uh, Tim McFall's going away party. And here we have the lovely. Uh,
Donna McFall. You're pretty good at this, Mark. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and she's also a post uh, master, I believe. She delivers our mail every day through rain, sleet, and snow. And, and what, Donna, do you have any stories you'd like to share about uh, over the years about the community center, that uh, memorable yeah. times that Tim came home? Uh, well, I have to say there are a lot of things I won't miss about the center. There's a lot of things I will miss, but there's a lot of things I won't miss. And I won't miss him having to leave on Sundays all the time to work and us having to curtail our our um, trips and things to get back in time to open up the center, those kinds of things, I, w I won't miss that. So you're, now you have a real life, and in a couple of years, your kids will be graduated, you really have a real life. Yeah. <laughs> Start that's, over. That's what I'm looking forward to. But we'll miss the kids, we'll miss the dances, um, we'll miss what's going on. You know, we always were up on what's happening with the kids and what was going on in the lines and stuff. We'll sort of miss that. Well, we didn't miss that. So-and-so calling up and saying, I left my social studies book and I have to have my homework and can you go down and open the center? Those kind it's of... It's not like you live next door anymore. Right. Well, even when we lived next door, it was a pain. Right, right. What was the, the funniest thing that ever happened? Like, I'm going to know, let me think, the funniest thing that ever happened. Oh, I can't think, Mark. I'd have to think. I can't think that quick. <laughs> and ask me something else. <laughs> ask me something easier. Okay. Or else talk to Bob now, I'll think. Come on, Bob. I'm going to talk to you so I can think. Who and else are you going to ask me besides funny so I can be thinking? Anything else? Well, that, uh, okay. This is Marty Kecker live, and we'll come back to you in a few minutes. Bye bye. Huh? <laughs> Rita, I missed you when I was down there. You were sleeping. Oh, wait. Bye, Jerry. This is Marty Cracker, live eye at the Lions Community Center with uh, the, uh, not the retirement party, but the going away party for Mr. McFall, who spent 18 long years at the Lions Community Center at the Taylor House, who used to work at U.S. Steel. And with, with us now is the assistant director from uh, approximately 1980 through 83. Is that about right? Well, close, 79 through 81. 79 through 81. But who's counting? And um, Mr. Whit... It seemed like it was 83. And Mr. Whitbeck, as he's known, what would you like to say to uh, Mr. McFall on, on his going away here? You got away with it. You survived. Enjoy your retirement. Welcome to the real world. Now, what was your most memorable experience at the Lions Community Center? Well, the spook house, yes, that was definitely very enjoyable. Could be when I bit, bit Dobbins uh, when I was playing Mr. Hyde and didn't realize that she was the Wicked Witch of the West. Put the chomp on her arms. <laughs> that was pretty exciting. Yes, we have a story. Make news. <laughs> okay, uh, anything, anything else you'd like to say before you leave here tonight? Well, at this time, I'd like to plead the Fifth Amendment. I don't want to uh, incriminate myself with the past activities that Tim and I have been associated here at the community center um, until the statute of limitations runs out. Thank you. Okay, here we are. That's it. Live at the Lions Community This is Live Eye at the Lions Community Center, and here we have with us tonight Dion. Dion, um, do you have anything you'd like to say to Mr. McFall when he's leaving here after 18 years? Um, I know he's a good, good, um, he can run the center real good. And, oh, we can't, can't put, the center can't bust kids off the street, so then you can actually. So you're going to miss him. And wh who do we have here? I'm Ryan Samuels. You're uh, Ryan Samuels. Ryan Samuels. Ryan. Here, Brian, here we have Brian. Uh, what would you like to say to Mr. McFall? On, on, uh, <laughs> you know, I thought he was pretty good, too. I don't think he should have left. You don't think he should have left? So you're going to miss him? Yeah. Did he used to coach you in basketball? Did you win this year? Nope. But you must have won a couple years ago, right? Yeah. Yep. Now, how old are you? 13. 13. So you, you play with him for 12 and unders? OK. All right, well, thank you very much. Yep. At the Lions Community Center with, um, with Kojak. Ko Kojak, uh, what would you like to say to Mr. McFall? I just, I just want to say that he was, a, he was a really good teacher, playing basketball and everything. And I don't think he should have left or went to another place. I just think he should have stayed here because everybody liked him. That's what I understand. So he's going to be missed by everybody. Yep. Well, thank you very much. How are you tonight, Mark? Okay. <laughs>
Here we are uh, live at the Lions Community Center, and uh, Martha, and you've known Tim for quite a few years. Uh, is there anything you'd like to uh, share with us about memories or experiences with Mr. McFall? Yes, I would just like to say that I think that it's going to be a terrible loss to the community. I think he was well liked and respected in the community, and the children looked up to him. And I hate to think about our children without that kind of leadership. You hate to think about life after McFall. Yeah, I think we all <laughs> feel that way too. <laughs> Experience that sticks out in your mind uh, over the years? Every Halloween. <laughs> Actually, it was every other year, but it was pretty funny. I mean, it, or scary, I should say. And they, they claim that you shouldn't take your kids to Jurassic Park. Uh, I don't think you should take your kids to Lions Community Center you know, Spook House. They've been through the Spook House, they can handle anything. They can handle <laughs> Jurassic Park without a problem. What do they have to be 13? That what I well, that's what they're saying, yes. Well, thank you very much for sharing a few moments with us. Well, thank you. Dobbins is a I remember Sean, he was uh, probably about, yeah, about eight or nine years old. Uh, tough kid though, you know, he really held his own. And uh, Sean has come, come back to Lions and now he's uh, following his uh, footsteps for many uh, Dobbins here and he's gonna be running a drugstore and a gift shop now. Now you've known Tim for uh, uh, 18 years now and you can actually call him Tim now. For, many, for 18 years you had to call just, him just, Mr. McFall. Just stepped over the border not more than a few months ago. He's, he's gone from Tim to uh, Tim McFall and now he's just Tim. Yeah, and it really takes a while, you know. Yeah, yeah that, this one thing that you, about the, the McFall rain here, you had to say, Mr. McFall. Yes. And if you were caught the saying, Tim. respect was, you had to show the respect, and that's what he asked for. That was the last of the, the era of respect. Now, uh, Sean, do you have a few stories you'd like to share to us about uh, Mr. McFall? Uh, uh, this is probably one that Tim won't remember uh, when I was a kid, when he probably just when he first got here. There was a candy bar downstairs, and we always bring our loose change and buy some candy. But one day he realized that, hey, this Dobbins boy has got a little bit too much change in his pocket. So he questioned my mother, and my mother happened to find out that, hey, I was in the old uh, the uh, money bank for uh, school lunches. So I got in a little bit of trouble. You, so got, in the, you got in the till. <laughs> the long reign of Dobbins. I was caught, I was caught early, so that, that took care of all my... And now uh, Mr. McFall took care of him, and now he's a respected citizen of the community. And it's because of that incident that Sean is now following in his father's footsteps. As, that, as that, that was the sole incident that just it changed me. I was going to be in trouble, and that straightened me right out. So thanks, Tim. You saved my life. You saved him. Uh, give credit Another for saving. Saved by him. Another juvenile delinquent saved by Mr. McFall. Yes, thanks. I'd also like to thank him because he was my... Uh, confirmation sponsor and he also straightened me in the in the words of God and I'm right up there now thanks thanks Tim God bless you there we are <laughs> thank you that's what they said don't don't swap bye yeah okay Diane Diane okay stay here both of you both of you Hello, this is Marty Cracker live with the Lions community. In one week, we are losing two great leaders in Lions, Roland and uh, Mr. McFall. Roland and Ryan, uh, I'd like to share a few memories of your experiences uh, at Lions and about uh, the, your dealings with uh, at the community center. I've just had very positive experiences over here. I have come over several times and dropped a pint of blood to the Red Cross at the spot. <laughs> and, uh, I know it's, it holds a very nice reputation in town. Mm -hmm. Had nice experience in Lions, and always remember the time spent here. It's gonna. It's a sad week because we really are losing two well-respected individuals in our community, and everybody's gonna miss you both. Uh, McFall, anything you'd like to say? Uh, on the last word. Yeah, I, re I remember an interesting uh, little tidbit of uh, blood blood drive. Uh, there was a woman. She was given blood. She's probably been here four, four or five years in a row, and uh, she was lying there on the table thinking about how this blood was flowing out of her arm into this little plastic bag. Up from the ceiling drops a tile. It comes flying down and slams on the floor right next to her. Well, need I say more? She almost gave five pints of blood that day. <laughs> the nurses are so angry with us, they said they'd never come back here again unless we fixed the ceiling. And Mark, since you're a roving reporter, if you would just go into the other room and take a look, the ceiling is being fixed and all the tiles are gone. So I think next year when the blood mobile comes in, it well, will maybe really we can name, be impressed. Maybe we can name the ceiling after you since... <laughs> 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 
Have you looked at the top of the Catholic Church in Newark recently? <laughs> there are some. <laughs> We're going to miss you both. Well, thank right. you. Thank you, Mark. Here with us, we have another. Here with us live at the community center, we have another distinguished guest, uh, Reverend McTaggart. Mm -hmm. And uh, you've been here as long as, actually, longer, about the same time uh, Mr. McFall came. Two years shorter. Is that right? Yeah. So you've been here 16 years. So you've known uh, Tim for, for 16 years, and you've known uh, Ryan, was it six or was it? Six. Oh, six years. Ryan, yeah. Okay, um, let's start with, um, with Roland first. If you have a few memories you'd like to share with us about Roland. Memories, or you like to, a few things you like to say? Yeah, well, he's just a very kind and, and good person, and uh, we're gonna. I, I personally am gonna miss having him to to go and. Uh, he's gonna miss him when he's on the canoe trips when he fills in for him. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> I'm just gonna miss the man. That's all. Oh yeah. And uh, and this is uh, being a comrade and, and colleague and friend. Yeah, and, uh, and Tim, the community's going to miss Tim in so many different ways. Uh, I, I think uh, one of the things that I used to do with Tim for the past 12 years, we've had the food covered distribution through the community center and uh, everything from cheese and all kinds of government commodity foods. And Tim has been part of our part of that project and real help a real help and uh, always willing to to, cart the, to carry the food in and to deal with the sometimes unruly patrons and but uh, it's been really good uh, we've given out tons of food and uh, plus he's a well he's, he's a decent guy and, I, and well, he does like the Adirondacks a good so. friend and he likes the Adirondacks he's climbed the mountains and, uh, still got to get him in a canoe though yeah uh, not okay nope and, he, and he's helped with the Erie. Yes, and, yes, uh, yes. Yep. All, All respected those. citizens. Yep. Yep. That's what, we're going to miss him, but I, I'm glad he's staying in the community as a neighbor and friend and expect to see him in church. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Not to bring him here. Or, On or a canoe trip. Leading a trip. Yeah. Right. Right. Oh, right. yeah. right. right. the. So. Lions Community Center and in, uh, in, uh, Lions Methodist Churches are going to miss two great people. And I don't know, it's a place to uh, leave us. Yep. Okay, we'll see you later.